your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. Good Sunday evening, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center, downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with your Sunday evening quick weather forecast. Looking into the rest of the holiday, no major problems out across the Mid-South, but still the potential of some showers and a few thunderstorms out there. We'll have more on your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. And also don't forget about Todd Demers' forecast. That'll be coming up bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Earthquakes, plenty of them on the West Coast and into the Western United States, but nothing going on directly in the mid south south as of the course of the evening going on. We're not seeing anything in the way of other earthquakes to report here after that earthquake that was in Oklahoma on early Saturday morning. That again showing energy passing through the Mid-South very, very easily and detected here in the area by your reports and thanks to everybody for sending those in. Keeping track of this information, the myth, the what is called an old wives tale if you will, or an idea as to the weather forecast that the number of fogs that you you have in August is going to equal the number of snows that you have in the winter season. Now, if this is true, according to the National Weather Service, we had eight days worth of fog or haze, so that means we should wind up with eight days of snow from December 21st through the spring equinox. Now, if that happens, we should see that equal out here. And if that goes on by March 22nd, we'll know a lot more as to whether or not that comes in to be true. But as of right now, you can see that over the last few years of fogs in August, that does not equal anything in the way of snows during the winter time, thereby proving a lot of this to be completely and totally untrue. Other almanac information, stay tuned for more on that with WRAG.com slash weather. High temperature today back into the mid-90s, lows back in the lower to mid-70s. Record high temperature today didn't quite get there. The national high temperature set in Death Valley, California, 104 degrees. We were about 10 degrees below that for today. Sunrise this morning, 636, and into tomorrow we'll be losing daylight steadily over the course of the next few days as we get closer and closer toward autumn. 17 days and change until we hit the vernal equinox or the spring or the fall equinox, the autumn equinox that'll be coming up the next few days. Dry once again for the Mid-South, no rainfall for today, starting off September on a very dry note so far. Heading out to grill tomorrow, you may have a few isolated showers and thunderstorms to pop up during the afternoon, kind of like what we saw today. More activity out there possible, but nothing huge taking place at this time so no major problems to be seen across much of the area so good news on that. Heading out the door tomorrow if you have to go to work could be some patchy haze and fog once again but otherwise not really looking at too much in the way of major concerns for travels out across much of the area so definitely good news if you are going to be uh, traveling through at various locations there. Now into the rest of the forecast in the next several days and weeks we could be winding up with some severe weather. Best to get prepared for for it now, if at all possible. And if you'd like to know more about becoming the eyes and ears of the National Weather Service out in the field, please think about taking this course. It's the Skywarn Spotter Training Course for the fall semester. And if you'd like to know more, all you have to do is go to our webpage, and we'll have links to it there, or go to the National Weather Service at weather.gov, click on the Mid-South, and then click on the Skywarn tab in the main menu on the left-hand side of the screen. That will give you more information about where to go to, who to contact, days, dates, times, things like that, and locations available. So if you'd like to volunteer, we could all use your help. The more of us out there that know more about what to do when severe weather hits, then the better off we are all going to be, the safer we will all be as well. So a good opportunity to help if you would care to do so, and really highly recommend that, especially for kids. I've seen Skywarn spotters as old as eight years old and up taking this course, so it's something to think about to help out. Don't forget, we'll have more on your forecast later tonight, and you can contact me on these social media websites, three of the ones that I use out of the many so far, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, also available on SoundCloud, Google+, WordPress, and trying to get things on the Game Boy system but haven't had too much luck there, and we'll have more coming Coming up on weather overtime for Monday for the Labor Day holiday as we go throughout the rest of Monday. So check more out on there. We're also keeping our eyes on what's going on with Ermine. It is working its way 
expected to work its way back a little bit closer into the area close to the East Coast states, and watches and warnings are up for the area from Cape Cod all the way down to almost the Delmarva Peninsula at this time. So if you're heading toward that area of the country, this could be a bit of a concern, so definitely want to keep an eye on that as you travel, and we'll be doing that as well here at News Channel 3, so we'll keep you updated on that. Stay tuned for more on News Channel 3 at 10 if you're tuning in early, and if you're not tuning in early, going for late, and you're tuning in for more weather information, join Todd Demers bright and early on News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 4.30 Monday morning. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, this has been your quick weather update for Sunday night. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for more information.